All right. Hello, Mr. Ripito, sir. A while back, you posted a video about barbell maintenance. I was wondering about the difference in maintenance between a bearing bar and a bushing bar. I was able to acquire Chapman Power Bar with bearings and was wondering what to do. I need to do, wondering, do I need to do anything to maintain the bearings? I know how to maintain the shaft and the sleeves, just looking for what I need to do to the bearings. Should I leave them alone as long as they're working? The spin is still pretty good. Internet is not a great place to find the maintenance for these bars. Every video is for bushing bars. Well, the reason why all the videos are for bushing bars is because the bushing bar predominates in the market. They're much cheaper to build, and for most purposes, they're every bit as good as a bearing bar. If you put a bar together with needle bearings so that the sleeve rotates very, very freely, uh, it's just that's expensive. It's expensive to do that, and as a, as a result, there aren't many bars available with bearings. Uh, the high-level Olympic weightlifting bars, Ilico, Usaka, uh, those types of devices are uh, are going to be assembled with needle bearings. And uh, you, the problem you get into oiling needle bearings is that the 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 oil uh, attracts goo. It attracts dirt, chalk dust, that sort of thing, and will eventually gum up the needle bearings. So if I were you and I had a bearing bar, I would just keep it clean. I don't think you need to oil or lubricate in any way the bearings on the sleeve of a of a needle bearing bar. They're designed to just operate flawlessly without any lubrication. That's what the bearings are for. Okay. Uh, 